What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going over the top anticipated sneakers of February 2022. So stay tuned. Brother is engaged, but I started new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. All right, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive into today's video. Just like I said in the intro, I'm going over what I feel is the top anticipated sneakers for February 2022. Now I'm doing this video, I'm trying to keep it up and do it monthly because I did a January top anticipated sneakers of 2022 and I got a lot of positive feedback. So, and here we are doing another video, right? Okay, so without further ado, enough rambling, let's get to these releases, right? Okay, all right, so I have them up on my phone but I will be putting the images up on the screen for you guys because I'm gonna be honest, while we were saying January was a quiet month uh february we're getting hit with bangers right okay so let's go ahead and dive right in okay so first things first coming out february 7th and these are gonna be not too hype but we got a pair of nike dunk gold and silvers now if i'm not mistaken this is gonna be on the nike's app and i know i'm dropping this video on the 7th but if you know you know this i believe is gonna be a women exclusive however still something somewhat nice to talk about you know Fellas like white and gold. This is kind of could be like a universal colorway, even though I know it's saying it specifically for the ladies. So keep in mind that's most likely it's gonna go up to a man's 10 and a half and under, right? Okay, now keeping things moving right along, we got the Bad Bunny joints expected February 9th. Now these are loaded up on the Adidas app. So if you haven't entered that raffle, be sure to do so. Now the Bad Bunny joints, they seem to always do well, right? And I gotta be honest, I am feeling this particular colorway, but I feel like Bad Bunny has a big, big fan base, right? Okay, I personally like some of his music. If you heard, if you haven't heard any of his music and I know this is a sneaker channel, feel free to give it a try, man. This is, he, he's got a big fan base and his sneakers are, they're not bad. I just gotta keep it 100. I know we don't really give him enough praise, but um, his sneakers are pretty decent. So moving right along again, we got the acronym Nike Blazer. Now this is a collab sneaker expected to release February 10th, right? Okay, now personally, I'm not feeling these guys, but Acronym tends to do, when they collab, they tend to do very, very well. So I had to put it on the list for top anticipated sneakers because like I said, I know these are gonna sell out. There is a fan base somewhere for these guys. Not a bad sneaker overall, just not for the kid, right? Okay, now. Moving right along, this one kind of snuck up underneath my nose. I didn't even really know. I didn't even hear too many people talking about this too much. And this is the Amy Leon Dior um, New Balance 993. This is expected February the 11th, right? Okay, we got a lot coming this week in general. So let's just say it's safe to say I'm about to have a lot of drip, flip, or skip videos coming this week alone, right, okay? But this Amy Leon Dior New Balance sneaker, let's face it, man, we've heard about this release, we've heard about the collaboration with them and New Balances for quite some time now, and, it, and it's kind of one of those, I didn't know a mu much about it at first, but now, I, I'm all for it. This is a nice collaboration thing. I know this is like one of those sneakers that, honestly, New Balance have been having their foot on the gas like for quite some time now. And I wanna say they haven't been having their foot on the gas ever since last year, and it doesn't seem like they're letting up, right, okay? And this right here, not a bad colorway at all, and I'm feeling these guys all the way, right, okay? So, let's get into some Jordan brand releases coming up. So we got the Jordan 5 Low, Can You Hoop? Now this is like the, I guess you say, if there's a Valentine's colorway. Now I think these are for the ladies as well, meaning, you know, man size 10 and a half and under, right? Okay, but I feel these are more catered to the ladies, but it doesn't mean fellas can't rock them. Now this is a Jordan 5 low. Um, this is expected February the 11th, right? Okay, not for me. I'm not a Jordan low five guy, but these aren't bad though. I gotta be honest, for the ladies, 
I, I gotta give y'all, man. This, this is not a bad pickup. All right, moving right along, we got the Nike Air Trainer 1 SP Car Render. If I'm saying that correctly, AKA the Bo Jacksons, right? Okay, if I'm saying that even more correctly. But these are expected to release February the 11th as well. So February the 11th, we got a stack day, right? Okay, now this is more for like, I guess it's, it's particular direct fan base. I don't hear too many people talking about them, but it's one of those, if you know, you know sneakers. Not a bad colorway, to be honest. I'm feeling these guys, you know what I'm saying? I don't own a pair, but hey. I, I, let me just put it this way. I feel like on February the 11th, you should be able to get your hands on something for retail, right? Okay, and let's move right along. We got the Union Nike Dunk Passport Pack. Particular colorway releasing on February the 11th is the Pistachio colorway, right? Okay, now I know there's gonna be three different colorways. This is gonna be of the one. Now this particular colorway, I'm not particularly crazy over. In fact, the Passport Pack hasn't really impressed me too much like everybody's kind of been on it right okay i'm not saying they're looking bad but it's kind of one of those i'm gonna have to see in person man i, I just the images really aren't doing this shoe any justice however they are expected to release february the 11th right now moving right along man we got this is a stack week already right okay and now we got the jordan 5 racer blue coming february the 12th right okay so we got this that that was this this is all in this week alone this is just in this week alone think about it like last week we had you know the restocks or whatever that was nice and i should have put this video out then but we had a lot to cover last week as well so this week yeah we getting stacked right now and the blue racer fives look like they're coming in a full size family run not a bad sneaker ah. I'm a Jordan 5 guy, but I'm very, very picky when it comes to my Jordan 5s, man. So I, I, I got my eyes on these, but I don't know, man. We'll just have to see. All right, moving right along. Finally, we're coming over into the next week. We got the Jordan 1 Marinas. Now, these were expected to release in January, but obviously they've been delayed, and now they pushed them to February the 16th, right? Okay, so we get a little bit of a break, and the Jordan 1 Marina gives me basically like the Jordan 1, um, the, the black and blue ones that I already have, but you know, I can't really think of the name right off, but it looks like just another like, if you would think like a reverse Jordan 1 colorway they've already did. That's the kind of vibe that it kind of gives me, right, okay? Not to say that it's a bad shoe, cause Jordan 1's always do their thing, but this is a nice, simple, subtle colorway. And we know we got a stack lineup for Jordan 1's coming this year. So we're starting things off, I feel like, nice and subtle and quiet. So, you know, not a bad shoe, but not, you know, I wouldn't write home about it. Let's just put it like that, right? Okay, moving right along, we got a pair of Nike Dunk, and I am hope I'm saying this right, Saprer Familia, which is basically family in Spanish, right? And if I said that first name, that first word wrong, feel free to correct the kid down in the comment section. My bad. Now, these are set to release February 17th. Now, these aren't looking bad and I know they're gonna do the dunks are always gonna do their thing but these are actually standing out to the kid man I definitely got my eyes on these guys for sure coming right along again we have the LeBron big bangs right these are spec to release February 18th right now this shoe I think has a this is a re-release well let me rephrase this this is kind of like that it was out back in the day and they finally have released this shoe again. You know what I'm saying? So it's been a while since the shoe has actually been out. So it was very popular back then. I have a feeling they're still gonna do their thing, especially for the diehard LeBron fans. You know, LeBron nines do their thing. You just gotta respect it at the end of the day. And the last one that I got on the list for sure, keep in mind, February is that short month, but they hitting us hard in the first week or the second week of February. They're hitting us pretty hard with these back-to-backs, man. And then kind of calms down now. We got a new Yeezy colorway of a V2, right, okay? Look like we got the Yeezy 350 V2, and they're calling this the Dazzling Blue, right? Now, these are expected to release February 26, right, okay? Now, I gotta be honest, I'm not mad at this colorway. It's not a bad colorway. I definitely like Yeezy V2s, and they've been, it's nice to see the actual stripe going back where you see the um, the actual writing of the 350 on the actual stripe, okay? They went away from that for quite some time and now it seems like they're back, but 
overall, man, I don't know how I feel about them. I'm on the fence. You know, I'm kind of hoping they're gonna do, they definitely got some more restocks on the, on the way, but I don't think they're coming in February. So this is just specifically dedicated to the month of February. Now, if I missed anything on the list that you guys feel like I should have included, Feel free to mention it down in the comment section and I'll do an updated video. I do not mind, right? Okay, because let's face it, there's a lot of sneakers coming in February and hey, you can't catch them all and sometimes these things come out, they'll just throw out a shoe randomly too that we wasn't anticipating. So right now, this is all I got for the month of February. If I miss anything, y'all guys, y'all guys, let me know down in the comment section. If y'all are feeling this video like these and y'all want me to do more every month, be sure to smash that like button. Let me know down in the comment section and I'll definitely do more. But I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps your channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones and thank you for watching and I'm out. I'm free.